Hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Reviews. Unless it's your first time, then welcome. Please consider subscribing. If you do, hit that notification bell, get the updates. We're really excited for today's video. Beers courtesy of Billy. Thanks so much, Billy. I really appreciate it. It's another one of these cocktail inspired beers from Firestone Walker. Uh, really like the other one I had the other day, the Gin Ricky. The Gin Ricky. Um, right? That's the name, right? Rickety. Ricky. Anyway, this is the Salted Caramel Mudslide. Like, they're going for it. Uh, it's from t uh, 2020. And it's a blonde barley wine ale aged in bourbon and vanilla barrels. Come on. With coffee, cocoa nibs, and sea salt, 12.5% ABV. Like, <laughs> if you watch my channel, this kind of sounds like a beer made for me. So, really excited to try it. Let's get into it. Tell you what, what I'm smelling already is really nice. Um, yeah, so it's kind of it's brown in the center. There's a little bit of yellow, decent amount of red, and then this brown color. Um, they're calling it a blonde barley wine, right? That's what they said, blonde barley wine. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's yeah, it's not full on what I think a barley wine looks like. Fair enough, but it's not that blonde looking either, right? But given the adjuncts and stuff, I guess it's not surprising. Um, yeah, looks good. Not a lot of head on it. Uh, it's kind of like a khaki color head uh you definitely get some legs going no lacing um yeah let's get to the aroma <laughs> uh, beer before glory wow that smells fantastic wait there's no caramel on this i mean i guess you wouldn't just add caramel right because it would just ferment out Wow. Because you do get a very strong caramel note. <sighs> some pretty deep chocolate. I don't get the coffee. I'm thinking, I mean, there has been some time on it, but I'm not getting like green pepper. I'm thinking maybe the coffee's working with the cocoa nibs and really giving that nice, rich, deep chocolate. <sighs> Based on the aroma, this is this does not smell like a beer. Like this is very much chocolate caramel swirled almost like a rollo or something great level of sweetness for for what this beer is right now I, i'll say try, i don't mean this like in a negative for what this beer is trying to be a you know cocktail inspired beer that is a mudslide you know based on the aroma it's not cocktail inspired beer it's just like cocktail i'm sure the taste will have some beer notes but man this aroma I think that salt might be what's helping that the, the 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 caramel must just be coming I'm assuming from the base beer you have that bourbon and that vanilla working with it and it is it's, just, it's screaming caramel though like I don't get like I guess if I really look and I can get some vanilla I don't get big bourbon notes um and I don't get base beer notes it's just it's, it's a trip it is I mean it man it smells fantastic. Like, as, if you watch this channel, you know I love sweets. Like, this smells like Rolos. Let's get into the taste. Cheers. Thanks again, Billy. Okay. <clears throat> in a very good way, there's a lot more going on in the taste than the aroma. And as much as I loved that aroma, for a beer... For all this beer could be with what's been put, you know, like what's uh, not just put into. I, mean, I, I talk I, when I say what's been put into it, I mean holistically, including making the base beer, not just the adjuncts added. A lot went into this beer, literally, and that aroma, although lovely, didn't showcase all of that. Whereas the flavor, there's a lot going on. You get that chocolate. I swear, I still get a kiss of the coffee. Um, you get that sweetness from the barley wine. I do get a little bit of vanilla. And actually, I get a decent, for me, you know, I get a decent amount of vanilla in this. Uh, I know, vanilla police alert. But man, now I'm getting a little bit more roast in the aroma. Now that, you know, I have it on my palate. Wow. There, there's a lot of sweetness to this. 
but it's never cloyingly sweet. Like this could easily be that beer. Um, and it really, it, it's incredible. It's like kind of blowing my mind how much caramel. And it reminds me also of like um, butterscotch pudding. Like it's that kind of a taste. Like so this caramel butterscotch thing. Um, not much of like oak given that it, you know, has vanilla barrels and bourbon barrels. Um, I don't I don't think I've ever had a beer aged in ver, uh, vanilla barrels. Maybe I'm mistaken about if I've ever had one and if that's what I think it is, but I assume like when it says like bourbon um, Madagascar beans, you know, like that they actually put it into a barrel and let them pull out the, uh, or when you have like vanilla that's um, in like liquor, right? I, I assume if I make this hand gesture, it makes my, uh, inability to articulate words somehow come across better. Anyway, um, I think the salt is helping it pop a little bit, but I don't get any salty salinity to it. Um, there, You know what? Okay, now I am getting a little bit of oak, a little bit of tannins. Helps bring some balance because it does dry it out a little bit about... I don't know, 80% through the sip, then you get some of those tannins. I'm getting a little alcohol in my breath as I'm talking right now. I don't get on the taste. I can see a little bit in the chest. So again, kind of like adding to the dryness of what could be a, a pretty, pretty darn sweet beer. I tell you what, I'll say this. Like I was saying about the aroma and how that didn't do this successfully, although it smelled great, the taste is very much... A cocktail inspired beer like it still does have enough beer components beer adjacent components has enough of the cocktail they're going for that it's the same thing with the other one I did from them in this cocktail series it's it's fun and it's delicious like it's not fun and one no it's not fun and too crazy to to ever want to try again or something you know oh, man it's not just delicious like there's more to it than that yeah, big fan of this. I mean, again, like I was saying when I was reading the ingredients, like this is a beer that seems tailor tailor made for me to like, and boy do I like it. Yeah, this is fantastic. Thanks again, Billy. Seriously, man, I really like it. Um, I'm curious and, and excited to hear what you say about it. Um, let's see. Have you had this beer before? Have you had anything interesting from Firestone Walker lately? Have you had anything interesting at all? Have you had anything that wasn't interesting from Firestone Walker recently? Uh, anything, everything, comment section below. Let's get a conversation going. Once you're done doing that, make sure you check me out on Instagram and Untapped. It's no hype beer reviews at both those places. So please like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, imbibe. Cheers, everyone.